Welcome back again, folks, to another portion of the host that never sleeps. We we do a, an unboxing video. I haven't done one in a little while. So, uh, and I got a couple of things here that came in at the same time. So I thought, hey, I'm going to do an unbo unboxing, an enveloping envelope and an unboxing envelope. Um, we'll unbox this first. This is from uh, Ginger Jake. You'll see her in the comments. Uh, usually uh, you can find her in the comments. She's got a channel. She plays good guitar and sings wicked nice. Don't let her tell you a different. <laughs> okay, got a love letter here. It says, Randy, I couldn't resist these for you. Got them at the concert. The patch, I thought you could put on a hat or jacket, you know, just to scare Earl. <laughs> I bought the green pick because I liked it. But the red one was from a handful Charlie threw out. She's talking about Char Charlie Starr of uh, Blackberry Smoke Band. Uh, the red one is from a handful Charlie threw out into the audience. A used pick. Not sure if they're the right gauge for you, but you don't have to use them. See you on YouTube, Ginger. And uh, here I'll show you the patch first. This is a cool patch, man. I'm going to find something to put put that on blackberry smoke I don't know if you guys ever listen to them or not I started listening to them about uh, probably five years ago I was just slipping through the channels one night and I found uh, them in concert on there and got to listen man they were really good I really liked them I uh, like their material they play like a southern rock type thing Okay, here's the green one she bought. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to see that, but that's the one she bought because she liked. I don't know what gauge it is, but it says on there. And I don't think it says what gauge it is. It's fairly stiff, though. And here's the red one that Charlie, I guess, played with this. I hope you can see that. Charlie jammed with this, folks. Thank you, Ginger. I got a pick that Charlie picked with. That's so cool. It's a little stiff. Uh, maybe it's about the same thing. And it doesn't say what gauge it is either. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to play with these. These are. I'm going to save these. Put them with my collection picks and just hang on to them. That's really cool that Ginger would send send those. Like I say, I love the band. I listen to them all the time now, and well, since five or so years ago. I did. All right, now I've got a really big box over here. Uh, say a lot of you guys are wanting to see what's in the really big box. So hold on, I'll go get it. Bring it over here and uh, we'll see what's in the really big box. Woo, I can hardly wait. Hold on. And here is the really big box. It says Gibson on it, if you can see that. But I don't think that's what it's got in it. I don't think it's a Gibson. We are going to find out right away, really, really quickly. We're going to find out uh, what this, what is it people like so much about unboxing videos? What is it really, man? People seem to really like to watch unboxing videos. I'm not sure why. Well, I already cut that back here. I thought I did. Maybe not. So I hope all you cats are doing well. And ladies. And uh, wow, man. I'm sure this is the right end. I think it is. I'll tell you what. I'm going to pause the camera. Because uh, you can see I have to concentrate to get a box open. So hold on. I'll bring you back when I get it started. Well, wouldn't you know, I opened the wrong end of it. It's got staples in this end. Uh, I just turned it up so you, the writing, well, it says do not drop and up. It's got a thing here that says up. So, I don't know, maybe maybe the uh, sender stapled it. Uh, but I think I opened the wrong end of it. Pretty sure I did. Lots of packing. This is always a good thing. So how are you cats doing, man? How is everybody? Hope everyone's getting along really well. And uh, I know you're going to love this guitar when you see it. I haven't seen it yet, but 
I saw pictures of it. I saw one picture of it. And I can tell you, I'm going to love it. Oh, man, here we go. Get a hold of the handle. Would help. Let's try this. Sorry about that, folks. Didn't have it all over the house before I get it out of the box. Ah, there we go. Woo! Look at you, Bob. All right, let's see what we have here. I think it's just. There'll be an end to this somewhere. The beginning, something. There it is. Yes, sir. You can't see shit, can you? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to stop the camera, and I promise I'll bring you right back. As soon as I get some bubble wrap cleaned up, and uh, <laughs> get a little head by here. Hold on, hold on. Well, if the case is any indication of what's inside... And you can read upside down, that might be, uh, might give you some idea. What it is, what it is, man. It's like a new case. Alright, let me pull him out here a little bit. And let's have a look. It's even got bubble wrap inside the, the uh, on the guitar itself. Martin. Beautiful Martin guitar. We'll find out what it is in a moment. I'm not sure exactly uh, what this guitar is in need of yet. It belongs to a YouTube user. Yeah, let me, uh, let me give you a shot of it here. Man, it is gorgeous. Look at that inlay. I'll get it out here on the on the table where we can look at it. Hold on. <laughs> wow. Just friggin' wow, man. This is an expensive, very, very expensive guitar. Let me show it to you. It is a Martin. It's pretty easy to see. Check out that inlay, man. I think they call that snowflake, maybe, inlay. Snowflake or diamonds, I forget which. Check out the golden butter bean tuners. And look at this. Look at that beautiful work, man. Just wow. Look at the rosewood in that thing. That bubble wrap, I, I can see that in the camera. Hopefully that will rub right off. That's where you had bubble wrap in the case. I wiped the top of it off. I thought I had dust on it. No, I see it on the top. It's got the little bubble wrap places on the top too. Oh God, man, I hope that comes off. <laughs> but uh, check that out, man. Holy shit, that is a nice axe. Beautiful, beautiful rosewood. There you can see what I'm talking about. Yes, sir, man. This is a, uh, like I say, it belongs to a YouTube user. I don't know if I can tell you his name or not, so uh, until I verify that with him, I'm not going to. <laughs> so we get the camera. I'll bring you over here, give you a closer up look at it. This thing is just freaking beautiful. Check out those golden butter beans. <laughs> butter bean style tuning machines. Very nice. This is a Martin D42, in fact. I don't know if I said that or not yet. But it's a D42. Very extremely expensive guitar. And I'm not sure what... Uh, I talked to the owner a little bit about it online. Had an opening for uh, June left. I actually had two of them open. And this one filled one and the other one's already filled. Now, if, if we talked about you sending me your guitar, uh, I got a couple of spots right now in July. And, you know, I don't know how long they'll be open, but if you want to 
reserve one of those spots and send me your axe. Look down inside of it here. I saw something. C.F. Martin Company, Nazareth, PA. Made in USA. I saw something else back in there. If I can get the camera on it. Use medium gauge or lighter strings only. That's a good call, man. You would never want to put heavy, heavy ass strings on an instrument like this. Wow, just gorgeous, man. The rosewood in that thing is just so beautiful. I don't know without looking into it, but that looks like Brazilian rosewood to me. And for what these guitars cost, it probably is Brazilian rosewood. You can't even buy that stuff anymore. Let alone ship it across overseas. <laughs> so, uh, let me tune it up. I'll bring you back and we'll see if we can find anything wrong with it. I'm not going to do anything to it tonight, but uh, we will look it over. Hold on. strings on it from what I'm used to and it's still got that big boomy sound. The thing just vibrates all over when you play it man. guitar in a hurry, man. get back in practice with this here good lord this thing has got the sound and it should have i mean you look them up uh martin d42 google it and uh, you'll find they're quite the expensive guitar right there is why man listen to that the strings i don't know how old they are uh they look like they're fairly old I don't know what gauge they are, but they feel like they're fairly light. I would recommend a 13 to 56, and boy, that would bring that top alive. It's already alive. I mean, this is one of those touch-sensitive guitars. Listen. Can you hear the... The lesser you touch the guitar like this when you play it, the better it's going to sound. Thank you. 
sounds jazz, uh, jazz like stuff. I wish I could play, man. I'm going to have some fun with this guitar. Uh, I'll talk to the owner and find out if I can tell you his name or not. And find out what's wrong with this guitar. I don't, really don't see much wrong with it at all. The action might be a little bit high. not bad off maybe not any I can't hear like I have to check it with a uh, tuner the camera's picking this up, but good lord. this thing all night man probably will <laughs> but uh yeah i'll find out <clears throat> from the owner what he wants done to this guitar and i want to find out for sure if that's brazilian rosewood it sure looks like it i don't know i'll just have to maybe try to find some specs on it look around inside of it d42 there it is on the neck block and the serial number d42 martin a beautiful sounding guitar and uh, anyways, yeah, I'll get with the owner, and uh, when I can stop admiring it long enough, very expensive, man, high dollar guitar. You know, unless you've played one of these guitars, you owe it to yourself to go out, go to a music store that carry high-end guitars. And I'm not talking a thousand or two thousand bucks. I'm talking about this kind of guitar, and play it. You know, tune it up, play it, feel it for yourself. And you compare that to a dumpster find. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll figure out pretty quick. You'll hear what you're paying for. But you can feel it, man. song working on it so anyways yeah stay tuned uh, I'll talk to the owner find out what he wants done to this and uh, this is going to be a fun fix whatever it is I hope I don't need a neck reset I don't like doing neck resets man I don't think this guitar does need that but uh, you never know everything at a glance looks okay to me but you never know till you get inside it and you know really start eyeballing it very closely so stay tuned for that because that's what we're going to do and uh, find out what he wants me to do to it. 
the nut action I think could be a little bit lower and uh, just you know a couple things I spotted the action a little bit high maybe higher than I like and the nut action a little higher than I like it's got a really nice tall saddle in it as it should have talked about that before got videos about about that why and I, I did notice too the pins are not fitting down in there like they should they're kind of sticking up out of the holes and that, that's an easy fix but uh, it's something that should be corrected it probably would even improve on the sound if you could even imagine improving improving on this sound this is top-notch man this is just top-notch right here's what it's all about folks and uh, stay tuned we're gonna get into this guitar and I'll see you very very much soon cheers <laughs> Oh, I can hardly wait.